Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here, doing an individual zodiac sign reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, check your North Node. Um, if you're not sure what I mean when I say all that, uh, you have a birth chart, and you can go to Google and Google free natal birth chart. You will have to have the exact time of your birth. If you don't know, don't guess at it. Put 12 noon, and you'll have to know what city and state you were born in also, um, but it'll pull up in a map of the constellation at the precise moment you are born. And it kind of gives you a few more layers into your own being and your own personality and your own energetic um, uh, shortcomings and, and things like that. So it, it's really interesting. Um, like I am an Aquarius sun, but I'm a Leo rising. And for the past three months or so, I've really been identifying far more with my rising sign. Um, it's kind of like your soul zodiac sign in a way. So it's really cool and interesting if you haven't checked that out. Um, I do um, suggest you do so. But yeah, this one is going to be, this reading is for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, check your north node. And your heart is your best guide. If something in the message is resonating, then it's for you. Um, if it leaves a bad taste in your mouth, spit it out. Move on, no big deal. Scorpio, spirit, what messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, Venus in the sign of Scorpio. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Thank you in advance. That feels good. Current energy, justice, and Queen of Pentacles. Heart space, wheel of fortune. Wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. I don't know if we have any Animaniacs generation out there. <laughs> but for some reason, I've seen the Wheel of Fortune in a couple readings I looked at for myself earlier. And <laughs> as soon as I pulled that one out, Wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> what are the lessons that we must learn? <laughs> the chariot, woo! Moving on up. Possible outcome, Four of Rods, Page of Pentacles. All right, self-discovery all over this one, Scorpio. Six of Rods, underlying energy, what you may not be aware of. Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups. So you're going to have... This is what you have victory over. This is a victory card in the underlying energy. You, I don't believe you see whatever you're working on right now, which should be self. <laughs> Always trying to evolve self and get yourself to that fulfilled state. But when we have Seven of Cups and Eight of Swords, this is anxiety and disillusionment and just heads up in the clouds with thought processes that don't serve you. But then we had this six of rods in the underlying energy. Spirit is saying loud and clear, you will have victory over them. Because when I look at this reading, if you're going along in this energy, there's no other way for it to come. This is, your current energy is the Justice and Queen of Pentacles. This is you recognizing fairness and honesty and how very important it is to be it, it, recognizing that the karmic scales of life that God's scales of fairness and truth it really don't require your acknowledgement but you're pulling that through see she this queen has her back to the fairness but it's like I'm using that it's got it like it's got my back like karma has my back when you are aligned with what god has in mind for you fairness and honesty and karmic justice has your back so doing the right thing is that knowing that i will have what i deserve when I am aligned with truth and fair and balance and love and honesty and appreciation and all the good things that I want in my life and the lives of those I love. In your heart space, God's recognition of cycles 
you know these 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 wheel, these events in our lives that have to come to an end, but those things coming to an end, again, good or bad, that's our judgment of them. It's all fair. Recognizing that it's all fair. If we've got some, you know, karmic crow to eat, so be it. This is that full on, you know, acceptance of wherever these chips may lie. That's where they're going to lie, but it's going to drive me forward. It's either going to motivate me to do better, or it's going to be the reward I deserve for doing good. But that's a balanced energy to drive forward because justice is there too. Recognizing that karma is playing out at good and bad, just as it's the natural checks and balances of the world, of the universe, of God recognizing them as there's karmic justices every turn no matter how the chips may lay taking my lumps if they are lumps because they're lessons lumps are lessons we can learn from tweak our behavior and move accordingly now with a better way a better okay that didn't feel so good didn't like that I'm not going to do that. I'm going to apologize to these people. You know, moving in the direction that God wants us to move. And then in your possible outcome, eye on the prize. There's my favorite card, four of rods. That is emotional, spiritual, physical. I always forget. Physical, emotional, and mental. Spiritual, emotional, Mental and physical stability is that four-cornered foundation that we need to be stable and have something that is sustainable. And that page of pentacles is looking at it like, that's my prize. Eye on the prize. You have the queen of pentacles in your current energy. So there's that creative kind of you know, the, the feminine energy has all the ideas bursting at the seams. And so the page of pentacles and the possible outcome in our heart, we're seeing karma as it needs to be seen. That whatever these situations I've gotten myself into, the results of them are, are as they should be. Accepting what comes, allowing, accepting and allowing because it drives us forward. It moves us into a much more sound and stable what drive everything around me becomes more stable and and driven in positivity and goodness and wholeness and appreciation when i'm looking at that as the prize that's that four cornered stability that four cornered foundation of stability that comes from Cutting out all the bullshit, underlying energy, having victory over the negative self dialogue, inner dialogue, and all of the disillusionment. Look at all the cool things up in the sky. Ground yourself and get out of your head so much. But that victory is yours. Because this other reading is showing nothing but recognition of the karmic role. Every situation we are in, it, it plays in our lives. And recognizing that those are ways to change our behavior, move forward, or it's a reward. It's all a reward. Really, it's all a reward. It's all something that we can look at as this little gold nugget of, of beauty because we can change from it if it's something we don't like and then go at it now with a new perspective. And when you have your eye on the prize of that four cornered or four four post four cornered foundation of stability, you will have victory over your thoughts and your your emotions. So I hope this helps Scorpio. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, all that. Bye.